to cope with toxic shame, we need to alienate it from ourselves. Um, many of us as children, we're not allowed to get angry. Um, as I said, you know, until the age of three, we've got no boundaries. Uh, once we're over the age of three, we start to be able to separate from our parents and caregivers. We start to see ourselves as individuals, but we're still forming those boundaries. Um, and if we don't have anger, we're going to take on more and more toxic shame until we become an object of contempt to ourselves. So growing up with toxic shame can make us feel ashamed when we need help, feel angry, sad, assertive, sexual, joyous, even when we feel confident, it can bring up toxic shame and uh, cause us to, you know, go, cause us to have a feeling of unease, uh, possibly even an emotional flashback. So shame bound feelings. So <clears throat> to separate ourselves from this toxic shame, we're going to alienate parts of ourselves. Um, and then we're going to project these parts on to others. So toxic shame can cause us to split, can cause us to dissociate. Um, you know, when there's ongoing and repeated trauma, if it's uh, a small child, they may create a completely separate personality, a, a different alter um, to cope with the abuse. Um, obviously, <coughs> a baby can't fight back, can't run away, can't, you know, fawn. So their only option is going to be to dissociate. So if a baby is uh, being abused or not feeling safe in their environment, they're going to learn dissociation as the only means to, <coughs> to cope with it. So um, we're all born with equal access to the three different uh, fight responses. They are the fight, flight, fawn, sorry, fight, flight, freeze response. If we overdevelop the fight response, we're going to become narcissistic. If we overdevelop the flight response, we're going to become, we're going to do things to avoid um, trauma. We may, um, we may, I don't know, have addictions. We may become workaholics. Um, if we overdevelop the freeze response, as I said, we're going to learn to dissociate. Um, a man called Pete Walker um, suggested a fourth response, which he called the fawn response. And he said, if we overdevelop the fawn response, we're going to become codependent. We're going to learn to put other people's needs before their own. Again, toxic shame can also cause us to become codependent, put other people's needs before our own. Because if we don't feel good enough, we're going to feel that we need to overcompensate by, you know, going out of our way to make people like us. So toxic shame can cause us to become cut off from vital parts from ourselves. And these vital parts may become sub-personalities that we project onto others. 